Good morning, you guys. I didn't even vlog really yesterday at all. Where should I sit down? Do you guys remember like in 2018, 2019, 2018, when I would vlog right here? Just want to be like, it's not getting my vampire facial. I would love to get that now because now like I don't really have acne. So I feel like it would actually make, make a difference in my skin. I've just been like fucking chilling, quarantine. This is my coffee. Fuck, it's so good. Let me know if you can relate. I kept seeing TikToks about this, but it's like every day I wake up and then I remember we're in a pandemic. Oh yeah, I can't do anything. <laughs> Not that I can't do anything, but it's like, oh, in the house. So that's like really interesting. It's just like, well, what the fuck is going on? I always use this blender bottle because I have blender bottles and then I have stainless steel water bottles. And those I don't like because they don't have, like this is so easy to drink out of. It's like, a, you know, versus the stainless steel it's like huge and especially if i'm lying down in bed or something it spills all over me but then i always use this like orange red one it's like orange um because all my other ones like the lid is broken or it's like i have a small one but it's like why would i only want that much water so it's like this is the only one that really works and it's kind of annoying but that's why i drink water out of there i never really like actually use these for protein but also i don't really drink protein like that i would rather like eat food or like make a smoothie bowl with protein powder in it or something. Let me know if you guys have been experiencing an increase in like people hitting you up. I feel like everyone's in the house bored, going through their contacts. Everyone is kind of like wants to fuck. And then I also know that I've seen people talk about, you know, um, I wasn't actually flirted with you during quarantine. I'm just bored. So it's like, leave me alone. And I saw this meme that I retweeted that I think just really describes how I feel. But it's like, what do you expect? First of all, we're not gonna hang out. I don't know, I don't know you. Like, I'm not even hanging out with my actual friends. You know, like, why would I hang out with, like, someone I don't even fuck with? If we're not gonna hang out, what's the point in, like, texting if, like, I don't know you? Like, there's one thing to, like, already be talking to someone or, like, already like someone or you already kind of, like, have, you know, some kind of relationship, even if it's like, oh, we've talked before or something. But like, if I literally met you once, I don't even know what your vibe is like. I don't even know what your vibe is like when I'm not like blacked up, okay? <laughs> I don't really have anything to do today. And because I didn't really vlog yesterday, I don't have anything to edit. I love having stuff to do. So, I mean, I was doing like emails and whatnot. I wanna film a closet organization because my closet is like organized, but it will just get like messy. I just feel like I have so much stuff in there. It's like hard to not get, it's like so difficult to keep organized because yeah, it's like not everything has a space and I just have too much stuff in there. So I really need to do like, not like a fake organization where it's like, okay, it looks nice, but it's still like, okay, there's stuff in the corner that that's just like where it goes because I don't have anywhere to put it. Like I need to go through all my clothes, all my bikinis, everything because I just need to put stuff on Poshmark. Um, I've low-key been making some Poshmark orders. Shout out to y'all. Um, and then I went on my profile and like put everything that hadn't been sold at the top of my page. So you guys can see. That's really what I need to do. Maybe I'll do that today. It's like supposed to rain all day until tomorrow. And I think it's supposed to rain tomorrow too. If I film a closet organization, then that can be the video that then I work on like uh, my mind. But yeah, this is pretty much my life. Low-key though, um, I have enjoyed this time to kind of i mean it's like i want to say relax but it's like you really win some you lose some i feel like sometimes when i have too many social plans it can definitely overwhelm me i think also people think that when you do work from home or work for yourself or whatever it's like oh wow like i would love to just i would go out every night like you don't have to be somewhere in the morning and it's like okay yeah i don't have to physically be somewhere but if i slack if i don't hold myself accountable then it's like <laughs> well there goes my life anyway my point being i've enjoyed not really having the obligation to make plans um you know saying yes to plans not that i was like oh i hate saying yes but it's just like even for myself it's like okay it's kind of nice to be able to just completely focus on myself my health and making videos and i feel like i've really been connecting with you guys a lot more in these daily uploads and just kind of feeling that sense of like Oh, like, let me see what people have to say today. Like, let me reply to you guys. Like, I really felt that. I think especially in 2016, I'll always think of 2016 as like the kind of a like point in that. Cause that's when I consciously was like, I just remember like uploading every day and 
that's kind of when I started doing that. It kind of brings me back to that and just being very like focused on work and videos and like being productive. So that's been nice and it's nice not to have like going out as a distraction or like you know, I feel like there's like 8,000 birthdays every month, which is like great and that's fine, but sometimes it can be a little like, I mean, I say that and it's not like, oh my God, I'm like so busy every day. Like I, I am usually at home most of the time, but you know what I mean? Like, it's just like feeling that versus like nothing, like having literally no plans, like literally being in the house 24 seven. I'm not even hungry yet. And I turned on the, oh, so I was going to say that it's more relaxing, but obviously it's like we're in a pandemic. So it's like, I'm not relaxed, but I, it's nice to be able to use this time of staying in the house. The quarantine part's relaxing, I guess is what I'm saying. It can be. So I, that's how I'm trying to like look at it. Obviously the pandemic part is not relaxing in the slightest, but I'm trying to look at like my current circumstances as far as my daily routine. It's hard to even say this because it's like, okay, it's literally a pandemic. I feel like I've just gotten a little more used to the routine, which a lot of things are just like my normal routine. But as far as like doing a workout in my house, you know, just not, again, not really being able to leave at all. Going to the grocery store like once a week, literally not be able to make plans. I feel like I am like adjusting. Cause I just remember before, like, I think I was talking to my parents and they're like, yeah, like we might have to like do that. Like that's what China's doing, like whatever. And I just remember thinking like, that's crazy. Like what the fuck, how, like what? But now it's just like, it's reality. Life really comes at you fast. Also, I put this movie on my story and I was low-key surprised at how many people were replying to it asking like what that was. The movie was Princess Mononoke. It's a Studio Ghibli movie, which if you've seen like Spirited Away or Totoro, really like what me and my sister grew up watching. Princess Mononoke is I think one of my favorites. I think it is my favorite. What are some other ones? Howl's Movie Castle, Ponyo is like a more new one. I just think it's a really relevant movie for this time because it's basically about this war, like it's actually, it's a literal war in the movie between nature and humans. I really like it because honestly, in all the movies, there's just, it's not like American or like a Western film. So it's not like there's like the good guys and the bad guys. Like every character is kind of like, I don't want to say good and bad, but it's like you almost can't really tell. Everyone has good and bad aspects to them. It's not black and white. It's not as easy as being like, this person's bad or this person's good. So anyway, it's just kind of about like, you know, nature coming back. And it just kind of reminds me of this time of like, okay, with climate change and just like everything, it's like something's gotta give. And then just seeing all the like, again, I don't, it's like, I don't wanna be like, oh, there's so many pros to this like pandemic. Cause there's really not. And it's, again, it's really ruining lives. But as far as nature and like pollution going down and nature kind of like coming back in that sense. It's just, it kind of makes you think and reflect. And I feel like this movie's a good example of that. But yeah, it's always been like my favorite. You guys should definitely watch it. I just like found it online. Like it, it's really hard to find those movies because they're just like not on really any streaming services. I really think I'm gonna film this closet organization today.